In this video, I'm going to talk about activities that you should avoid when you're trying to adapt to a polyphasic schedule. You might be doing some of these, and if you are, I highly suggest you stop doing them after you've watched this video and learned about what they are. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. My name is Crimson Flower and I'm a main author of Polyphasic.net, the community recommended resource for polyphasic sleepers. Today's video is going to be about which activities you should avoid when you are trying to stay awake. I'm going to go through a list of 17 activities that you should avoid because they are either going to make you fall asleep early, they might be dangerous to do or they might actually cause you to not be able to fall asleep when you are trying to do so. Some of these might seem like they are stupid or they are obvious, but I guarantee you there have been people who have attempted all of these and they have all suffered detrimental effects because of them. Okay, better safe than sorry, as they say. So the first thing you want to avoid is sitting down, okay? Especially during the dark period or during times when you are highly likely to fall asleep. Even sitting without a backrest is enough to cause you to oversleep. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny actually. During one of my adaptations I sat in a legs crossed position, you know, sure that I wouldn't be able to fall asleep. And of course I fell asleep. You best believe I didn't do that anymore during that adaptation. <laughs> The next thing you want to avoid is laying down, okay? Especially during the harder parts of the adaptation. Sleepiness can creep up very quickly and at one moment you might be really alert and then the next BAM! You're tired, you're oversleeping. If you're laying down, it's going to just add to that. It's not a good situation to be in, okay, laying down. Because, as I said, the sleepiness creeps up so quickly. <laughs> it's really hard to imagine if you haven't tried it before, but hey, when it happens, it happens, okay? You'll notice it when you get to the harder parts of the adaptations. If you need to be reading, for example, mm, I would suggest you don't lay down or sit down, but instead try to stand up to minimize your chances of oversleeping. Same with other activities that require you to, you know, be stationary for a long time. Don't sit, don't lay down, just stand up and do them, okay? The next tip is a big one, okay? Watching TV. You don't want to watch TV, see? You're going to start becoming drowsy in the sitting position, you know, slowly creeping up as we talked about in this video already. And suddenly you're going to fall asleep. It's a dangerous situation to be in and you're best avoiding it altogether. If you really need to watch television, set multiple alarms to go off during that time so that if you accidentally fall asleep, you don't at least oversleep for that long. Or ask a family member or friend to make sure that you're actually awake, you know, have them you know, glance at you every now and then to make sure that you're not sleeping. If you feel like you're going to start to fall asleep, immediately get up and, you know, do some jumping jacks or be alert in some way. Try to increase your energy levels. Don't just, you know, try to gamble with yourself and lay down and hope that everything's going to go okay. The next tip you want to avoid is browsing the internet passively. Like being on Facebook or browsing news articles or something similar. The disengaging activity can easily make you fall asleep outside your scheduled sleep times. Also, playing monotonous video games should be avoided for the same reason. While warm showers are really nice and cozy, they might make you extra drowsy. Avoid them at times when you aren't supposed to be sleeping. Another thing that's dangerous to do during adaptations is, you know, <laughs> Closing your eyes without standing up first, okay, okay, I know this sounds crazy, but you know, when you close your eyes and it hits you with a burst of tiredness, BAM, you're oversleeping again, not a good time to be in. If you, like, of course blinking is going to be okay, but if you feel like closing your eyes for a bit of an extended period of time, you know, just maybe resting your eyes, make sure that you stand up before so you don't oversleep. <laughs> okay. Similarly to watching TV, you also want to avoid going to a movie theater. In there, people around you are going to be very self-absorbed and not make sure that you're, that you're actually staying awake, you know, if you bring a friend or a family member. It's, it's a very big gamble and it's not one I would recommend you take. 
Getting a massage is also a bad one because, you know, with a very relaxing situation, somebody's touching you, relaxing you up. I mean, the purpose of a massage is pretty much to relax you, so you want to avoid that. Also, listening to nature sounds or calming music should probably also be avoided because it's going to make you more tired and more likely to oversleep. If you need to put on some background music, you know, to be able to concentrate better on some, some productive tasks, you can put on some colored noise instead. But you shouldn't use the one noise that you're using to fall asleep if you are using any kind of noise to fall asleep, because that's going to you know, send mixed signals to your brain and, and either the noise is not going to work at making you falling asleep anymore or you're going to get tired when you're doing the task. So, so let's say you're, you're using brown noise to fall asleep for the naps. If you want to be productive, you could instead use white noise. You know, it's a different kind of noise and it's not going to send the same signals to your brain. Also, binaural beats are good to use here, you know, but of course you want to use binaural beats that aren't making you sleepy when you're supposed to be productive. The next few tasks I'm going to tell you not to do is because they might be outright dangerous to do. They might cause harm to you, okay? So avoid them. Av unless it's of course absolutely necessary to do them like in an emergency. Okay, the first thing you want to do is avoiding to drive a vehicle, okay? It can be extremely dangerous to do when sleeping. There have been numerous studies linking driving while tired to accidents. Okay, avoid that. You also want to avoid multitasking around heat, sharp objects or machinery. Okay, all of these can be very dangerous. You should also avoid doing any drugs unless they are doctor prescribed. Some are really alerting and might cause you to not be able to fall asleep when you're supposed to. And others might be really calming, like ones that increase the risk of oversleeping later if they aren't making you tired immediately. Also, substances that remove self-control of any kind should also be avoided because they might cause you to make some really regrettable decisions later on. During the second and third adaptation stages, you should also avoid going to boring events or parties, since you could easily fall asleep at those, or just become really tired in general and crash later when you get home. Also, <laughs> don't cuddle with anything, okay? As this will definitely place you in the danger zone. The last tip I want to give you is to okay, not look at your bed. Okay, your bed has been associated with sleeping eight hours. If you look at it, it has, it has this really strange like ability to pull you in there. It's like, oh no, I really need to sleep. No, 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 you don't need to sleep. Don't look at your bed, avoid your bed altogether. Don't look at it, don't think about it. F uh, treat it like it's not existing, okay? Okay, just avoid your bed completely during your adaptations. <laughs> Great. I hope you liked this list. Do you have any other activities that you have overslept to or do you feel like it's necessary to avoid during adaptations? If you have any of those, feel free to share them in the comments below so other people can also enjoy them and put them into this list of activities that they should avoid doing. I'll be seeing you in another video and remember to have pleasant naps people and don't go oversleeping because of stupid decisions, okay?